everyone. Welcome back to Smart Parts Crafts. My name is Erin and I would like to show you today some of my favorite tools that I've discovered. Um, right over here, uh, when I first started making jewelry, I went to my toolbox. That turned out to be kind of a mistake. If you'll see here, I've got some fine, fine tip pliers, but these are really made for hardware, nails and screws and such. And after a while, I would get pits and scratches on the pliers. They wouldn't close all the way around my wire, and it would leave marks on my jewelry. Not good. Now, then I found these, which I liked a great deal for making rosary chain. However, after a while, and I do mean a while because I can make rosary chain all day, I would get a cramp in my hand and also here in Texas, it's kind of hot, so your hands get sweaty sometimes, and then you slip and lose your tool, lose your bead, and the wire. Very frustrating. So, here is the answer to all your problems. These pliers were created by Patty Bullard. Um, she made jewelry for years and years, and noticed that people would have the same problems uh, that I do with my, my old pliers. So she's created these new pliers, they are beautifully made. They have, they're all stainless steel. They're all checked for any marks or dings, scratches. They will not leave a mark on your jewelry. They are smooth all the way around. They're not gonna leave scratch marks, bite marks as we call them, on your jump rings, your wire, anything like that. These are um, coated I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of a foam covering instead of that smooth. So not only do you get a good grip, but even if you've just put lotion on, you're not going to lose your pliers. You've got control over your project. I'm a control freak, so that's a good thing. Now um, these are bent nose pliers, and these are fantastic for getting into tiny little jump rings into small spaces. Um, these are... Um, chain nose pliers. These are also good for the smaller things um, that the bent nose are for as well. These are flat nose pliers. These are excellent for hanging on to jump rings. Let me show you. So you've got a good grip on this jump ring and it's not going to slip out of your hand. Look mom, three fingers. <laughs> and now you can take your other pliers and quickly close a jump ring and just make sure that it's a, a good close. That's all there is to it. So I'm gonna drop that there. I think they're magnetic too. <laughs> so we also have round nose pliers and I'll show you in just a moment. These are great tools for making bales, for making um, rosary chain. And these, these are the new, um, um, sorry, these are loopers. These are fantastic. If you can see here, it's a little funny looking, but this is how you make beautiful loops, just like this. They're all uniform, all the same size. They're fantastic. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. We have a, let's see, these are mandrels. And you can see that this is the larger size. These were the babies, the baby, um, baby versus classic. <laughs> but these are good if you're gonna be working for a long time and on larger projects. Now each um, set of pliers is rated for a different size wire and each package will tell you which ones to use. Um, but these are fantastic for long, long um, jewelry making projects and they also come in the round nose, flat nose, chain nose, bent nose, all the same. And you can see how beautifully these close. There's no gap. So you know you've got a good grip on your project. There we go. Now let me show you really quickly. Um, for a long time I used to buy just the eye pins to make my jewelry with but sometimes I couldn't find the color wire I wanted or I just ran out of these. So 
I have since then switched to wires. But let me show you with these mandrels how quick and easy it is to make your own jump rings with this piece of wire. I'm gonna grip it, I'm gonna turn it around, I'm gonna keep turning it around. I'm kind of pulling the wire taut and downward at an angle as I twist it on to the plier right here. There we go. And I know this is an eye pin technically, but let me show you how easy it is to make your own jump rings. Actually, let me use these flat nose pliers to bend this away so I can hold on to this. There we go. I'll show you better. Just line it up with the end of that ring. Quick snip. And you've got jump rings ready to use. Now you can make them in any size that you want. These come in many different sizes. This I believe is a three and a half millimeter and a six millimeter. Um, let's see. And then let me also show you these loopers that we have. I use this looper to make this loop. <laughs> And then all you have to do is string a few beads on there, make a loop, come back here. And this is just beadsmith wire, 20 gauge. We have it in all the finishes, gold and silver and copper, age copper. We have bronze. We have all different finishes. Let me show you how quick and easy it is just to make a loop here. Put your wire right across the opening, just to the edge right there. Crimp down. Pull it back just a little bit because you want a good curve all the way at the end. And now pull your bead around until your wire meets the edge right there. And then you just pull it back and you have a loop. Easy peasy. So now I can also show you, you can do the exact same thing with the round nose pliers, but this allows you to make larger loops or smaller loops to suit your needs. So right here, whoops, there we go. So I've made a loop. I pull up my bead, got my wires in there, and now I pull the wire back, and I have a large loop. There we go, and I've also done that on this large bead I'll show you. There's a tiny little loop on this end. But with this one, you can easily turn it. So let me clip it first. There we go. Right there. Pull back as you turn and just keep turning and voila. You have a bead ready for Rosary chain, right there. That's not my best one, but <laughs> there we go. Now see over here, I've made a necklace based on, I pull the gold off the edge of this charm and I had these loose beads right here. So all I've done is attach them to the gold wire and I've made my very own rosary chain. So I can change the, the length of it easily by adding or taking away links. And I'll show you here how easy that is. I've decided to make it a little bit longer. You can take your flat nose or your chain nose pliers, either one, and you just grab the opening, swing it open just like a jump ring, slide that one off, put a new one on, and close it right back up. And then you just keep going and you can add as much or as little length as you want. And this also helps you, um, I have this over here where I had these copper beads and I wanted to add them to this chain with the copper wire, but I couldn't find any copper eye pins. So I went and I got some aged copper patina um, wire by Beadsmith. And this is all coated, it's tarnish resistant wire. And we have all the sizes, all the gauges. This particular one is also 20 gauge. So I just fed it through my bead, I looped the end, and I attached it to 
the rest of the chain for a seamless look. And I've also used the same wire to make another necklace. This one's a bit more blingy, but I like the contrast between the green and the reddish copper. And then it picks up the copper and the cross very nicely. So now this one here, I was inspired by these beads right here, these agate. So I love this blue in here, but I also like the brown for contrast. So I found blue beads and I found the brown bicone beads. And then later on I found this charm. This is one of our um, relic charms. It's the, the blue verdigree. Um, uh, it's one of our filigree crosses. That's what it is filigree cross and that one just sets off the blue very nicely I've got the bronze wire in between to pick up the bronze and the cross so you can do a lot you can play around with the colors you can mix petals there's all sorts of things you can do with pliers and wire they really open up the possibilities and right down here I'll show you what we also carry these are our mandrels right here these you can make loops you can make jump rings um, once you get started there's almost no end to what you can make with these these are our flat nose and our chain nose pliers we also have those in the baby sizes the chain nose and the flat nose here is our bent nose pliers which i showed you earlier and of course we have our our baby round nose pliers too Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or if you want to see us demonstrate another video, just let us know. You can call us or email us. Just come to our website and we would love to hear from you. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye-bye.